He said, I tried to save it. It's all he could mutter. I tried to save it. And I'm like, w what are you talking about, man? I, I don't know what's going on. And he turns around and he points over and he says, I tried to save it. And I said, what are you talking about? He goes, the flag. They had a 13 year old kid. Don't ever let them tell you anything about us bringing our kids to events because we have family friendly events and we teach our children the way that is right. They had a 13 year old kid on a freaking signal box on a light post in the middle of downtown Portland holding an American flag while all these idiots stood there with lighters lighting this flag on fire. 13 year old kid. He said, I tried to save it, but they wouldn't let me through. I couldn't get through. And I turned around and there are two cops, Portland cops standing five feet behind us. And I said, are you guys gonna do anything about it? And oh my God, Quincy, how many times have you heard me tell that cops have said these words to me, enough to make me want to crap my pants? They looked at me and said, we are not allowed. We can't. Police officers. The blue that we back. I was raised in a law enforcement household. I will always defend a good cop to my death. A good cop. But when these cops are standing there listening to unconstitutional orders and not protecting ordinary citizens because of special interests that they've been ordered to stand down for, they, they cease to be good cops. They cease to be the blue, in my, in my opinion. Yep. There's some kind of red or yellow. If you're a cop and you can't defend ordinary citizens because a bunch of miscreant, drugged up kids in black outfits are scaring you, you're yellow, you're not blue. And on that note, how many of you guys, and I've, I'm sorry, I'm going to point you out, but I watched the live feed when you were talking earlier. How many of you have friends that aren't here because they're afraid of the little drug riddled miscreants in black outfits? Tell them stop being afraid. Because I see in just the little crowd that's here still, I see men that are willing to stand up for them. They got no reason to be afraid. And you know what? They're cockroaches. You shine light on them and they vanish. They scatter. Don't be afraid to tell your friends to stop being afraid. What did I say on your feet earlier? Stop being nice. Stop being polite. We are expected. That man over there, we were talking. Oh, he's gone now. But he said, we do this because this is what is expected of us. We conservatives live the status quo because we are law-abiding citizens, because we have families that we care about, because we've embraced the free market system that is America and we're making money to pay our bills and own our houses and ride nice motorcycles and drive nice trucks and wear nice clothes. We're used to that because we live in the greatest country of Amer in, in the world of America. Yeah. We're used to that. That's how we're supposed to. Our little tiny experiment called America has spent the last... I'm bad at math, but I'm going to say around 250 years becoming what it is so that we could live comfortably and be an example to the rest of the world. So we are busy doing what it takes to maintain that. We are busy trying to take care of the bills, trying to pay our taxes that pay for these morons. Because that's basically all we're doing nowadays. Yep. Just getting by. How many of you guys are just getting by? How many of you guys are going to go home tonight or tomorrow or whenever you go home and look at a stack of bills on your freaking table and stress out and have an argument with your significant other over it? Me. Yeah, that's real talk. I don't know what the stats are about divorce rates among conservatives in Oregon. But if it's anything like my household, that's come pretty damn close, unfortunately. I love my wife. She might see this live feed, so I better say that. <laughs> I've got the greatest wife on the freaking face of the planet, and I love her. But we stress out. Because they're taking everything we work for. And they're working for us. 
I'm pretty sure every one of you here is tired of it. I'm pretty sure everyone here has had enough. That's why you're here. Find your friends that have had enough. Find your friends that want to stand up and say, no more. We were talking about it earlier, and it's great that we're going to try to vote a conservative in to the governor's office. That would solve a lot of problems, but it ain't going to fix everything because we the people, not we the people that we put there, not we the people that stand up here, and no offense if any of you are still here, but stand up here and say nice platitudes to get your votes. We the people. You, same with that little girl. You standing there with the water in your hand. You, with a flannel and a ball cap on. Not these suit and tie, dog and pony show retards that once they get elected don't care about what you care about. I pray, I pray to the Lord above that if we are successful enough to get a Republican in there that they will make me eat the words I just said. I will gladly eat that humble pie. But until then, every one of you here, because you had the fortitude to stay here, to stand here, when everybody on live feeds, when everybody watching on the media is making fun of us for standing here with 30 people where there should be 30,000, but you're still standing here. That's real talk. I'm sorry. I didn't come up here to make everybody's feelings good. I've seen what can happen. He's seen what can happen. He's seen what can happen. He's seen what can happen. I don't know the rest of you, but I'm sure a few of you, other yous can see what happens when you tell your friends and you tell your friends and you tell your friends and everybody gets excited, pissed off, or both enough to come here and say, we've had enough. I've seen what can happen. I've seen this place to where I can't see the bricks. I've also seen streets shut down there while we were on the sidewalks. We weren't even on the streets and they shut streets down for us. Because we went down there to show all of those normies, because we're not normies, mind you. Half of you probably are, but we're not normies, according to the media, according to the press, according to those people. We're radicals. Yeah. We're extremists. In some cases, we're labeled terrorists. Why? Because where is one now? How? Why in the why in the living hell do I not see an American flag somewhere? Right there. Because we believe in what that flag stands for. We are labeled all those things. I was a centrist. I was a middle of the road, average Joe that didn't want to lean one way or lean the other way because I didn't think that's what America was about. And I didn't like extremists. I hated protesters. I thought protesters were the biggest retards on the planet. Why are you wasting your time? It doesn't really matter. Go vote if you want to do something. Bah, 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 bah. That, that's the way I was taught. I was a centrist. Until I started paying attention to what's going on in there. I'll tell you what really turned my mind. Help me with the date, November 4th? 5th. 5th? 5th. The night of November 5th when Trump got elected. Here he goes, I'm in a live feed and I can't take this back. I'll tell every one of you, I did not vote for Trump in 2016. Shoot me now, who's got guns, I gotta hide. I did not vote for Trump. I hate Donald Trump as a person. I think he's a despicable piece of crap. And it's not because of the grab him by the hoo hoo comments or any of that. I just didn't like him. He's a pompous, arrogant asshole that feeds his ego more than anything else. I hated his TV shows. He, he's wishy washy with his affiliations. He was a friend of the Clintons, for God's sakes. How can you like somebody who's a friend with the Clintons? I didn't vote for him. I just didn't vote for anybody on that, on that box on my ballot sheet. I voted for all my local people that I wanted, yada, yada, yada. That night, Quincy was down there. I don't know if anybody else here was down there. We were downtown in the middle of that riot. 
I, I'd like to think of a better word for it, but that just encompasses it. Greg McGelvery's little adventure down there. Or it's 50K, Greg! Anyways, and we saw what the left does to silence us. Throwing temper tantrums because they didn't get their way. Why? Because you didn't mobilize, because you didn't... Dude, if it comes down to it, the Democrats could easily, legitimately win an election if they wouldn't wanted to. But they can't mobilize, other than their little activist army. They can't mobilize. There is just as much apathy in the Democratic Party as there is in the Republican. So they cheat. So they rig things. So they're taking advantage of technology in the modern age to m ensure their victory. Because they have one thing we don't. They have conviction. When they want it done, they find a way, legit, not, legal, not, moral, not, ethical, not, doesn't matter to them, they find a way to get it done. That's what we need to do. That's who we need to be. Fight fire with fire. That's what we need to do. By all means necessary. Damn. By any means necessary. Stop being polite. Stop being nice. Hell, stop being responsible. Because you're responsible, it's just feeding that machine. Stop it. Don't do it. You don't have to. Be grown-ass people. Take advantage of your own situation. Take charge of your own body, your own decisions. And make everybody know that you've had enough. Make everybody know that they're not going to push you around. And they're not going to push you around. Because that's all they're doing right now. Because they know we're going to say, Well, geez, if I do anything back, then that's, you know, that's not right. Or we listen to their bullshit. Oh, you guys are supposed to be Christians and Christians when... What the hell do they know about being Christian? What the hell do they know about God? What the hell do they know about morals and righteousness? Nothing. That's why they're killing babies. That's why they're masking school kids. That's why they're taking our tax dollars and giving them to their little pet projects. Because they don't know anything about what we know. But because we do, and because we try to live ethically, because we try to live by the principles that Christianity has set out for us, they expect us to roll over and show our belly. I'm guilty. I've done it. I've done it. Just a couple months ago in August. You know, bad. I wanted to do something at that Kmart rally. <laughs> But I had a voice in my head that said, you can't go to jail, Joe. You gotta go home to your wife, Joe, because that's the right thing to do. You can't beat up on teenagers, Joe, because that's not the right thing to do. And I watched my friend get maced and beat and covered in crap because I wanted to do the right thing. Guilty. I rolled over and showed my belly because I listened to the hype. There is such thing as righteous anger. Amen. Let me repeat that. There is such thing as righteous anger. Amen. We need to embrace that. You can do the right thing and still live Christian principles. You can be angry. Christ got angry. And that's our example. So who are we to say he was wrong when he did that? I'm not going to say that. Far be it from me to say Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Son of God on earth, was wrong. My head's not that big. So if he did it, why aren't we doing it? Why are we standing here with our backs to that building? Playing good songs. Whoever was the guy doing the songs, thank you. That was, But playing music, having a little party that everybody's freaking laughing at because our friends aren't here because we're standing here alone and we don't know what to do I asked somebody earlier what's the plan they're like well it looks like it's wrapping up and everybody's gonna go home 
I was told we were going to do something. I was told somebody was going to sit here until it got somebody's attention. Now, I don't blame anybody for feeling discouraged right now. I don't feel anybody, don't blame anybody for wanting to pack it up and go home. I'm not picking on anybody. But why are we doing this? Why did we do this? You wanted to have a barbecue with some patriots? Put it on Facebook and have it in your backyard. Been a lot less expensive. Because that's basically what we did here. God bless every one of you who did it. Again, please don't take me wrong. But what did we do? We gave the media fodder. That's what we did. And due to no fault of anybody still standing here. Again, I want to keep stressing this. I'm not trying to be an asshole to anybody that can hear me right now. Because you're here. God bless every one of you. Proud of your boy, proud of your girl. Let's do it again. Next time, get angry! Yeah, yes. Don't stand here and sing. You want to be quiet and reverent? Okay, we have the national anthem. Everybody take your hat off. Then sit here and show your ass to the assholes in there. Because they deserve it. None of you still standing here deserves this humiliation. Again, I'm being real. And y'all know I'm not wrong. This is humiliating right now, and I feel bad for the people that wanted this to be something bigger. But any of you Oregonians that are watching that feed right now, or that feed, I see somebody else feeding back there, that aren't standing down here with these people, shame on you! Get down here and help these people because they're down here for you. That's right. Yep. Be a big boy. Put on your big boy pants, men. That's another thing I'm tired of, seeing all these actions that are nothing but women out here. Where are the men at? Why? Put on your goddamn jock strap and come down here and do battle yes. with evil in principalities. Be a man. Set an example for your wife. Set an example for your children. Even if they don't agree with you, because mine don't, my wife does, but my children don't. And that's okay. Because guess what? Because of you, because of you, I'm going to be on record 30 years from now. And when history proves us right, my children are going to understand why I'm standing here on this stage rambling on right now. My children are going to understand why I took my day off instead of riding underneath this beautiful sunshine with a bunch of my buddies and acting like biker hooligans. I'm standing here talking to the few people that have the guts to still be here. My kids are going to get it. And your kids are going to get it. And history is going to get it. They're trying to paint us on the wrong side of history. I'm so tired of that stupid phrase. You're on the wrong side of history, bro. There is no wrong side of history. Shit happens, shit goes bad, shit goes right. That's history. There's no wrong side of history. History happens. But here's the key. We make it happen. We make history happen. We make history happen by the deeds we do today. And thank you all for doing this deed today. Go home, tell your friends. Tell your neighbors, tell your neighbors' friends, tell people you don't know that this is why you were here today. This is what we believe in. This is why we are fighting for it. And next time you should be beside me when we do it. Love you too. We're fighting for you too. It's okay. America loves you even if you don't love yourself. The needle exchanges that way. All right, I'm going to stop talking. And I'm sorry that I rambled on so long, but I just felt, I, got, I was telling somebody, I, I don't do this very often. I don't get on stage. I've done it once in a while. 
But if I feel like I got something to say, and I want, like I said, first thing I did and the first thing I want to do again, the last thing I want to do, is congratulate every one of you guys. Be proud of yourselves. Be proud of each other that are still here, that are still doing this, despite, what's the term, e eating, eating pie, getting pie in the face? But you're still here. That's fucking awesome. And when you do it again, I'll be here again. And hopefully I'll bring more people. And you'll bring more people. And you'll bring more. What is that? Was it a shampoo commercial or something? And she told two friends. And they told two friends. And then the commercial blows up with all the people. We can do that. Right now everybody thinks we're silly. But to use a phrase I hate. They're not going to think we're so silly when they find out we're on the right side of history. God bless you guys.